itself. You can see it that the design is very unique. Also, it has a little roller on the top. Then going on the bottom, you have all the buttons that you need for the remote. Going in the back part of it is designed nice so it will sit on your hand properly. And also, if you look on the top, it has a little IR sensor. Now, when you are going to hold this on your hand, it is ergonomically created in a way so it does not go to bother your hand. It also going to fit your hand properly. So it doesn't matter if you have a small hand or a bigger hand, this will not go to bother you if you wanna scroll up a little bit. So you can roll and you can select the proper device. And also if you have to scroll down a little bit so you can navigate around with your device. This is really designed nicely. Put everything aside, let's go through and connect it. All right, so once you get your remote ready and you will be able to see something here says connecting to the Sofa Button app, you need to use your phone. It doesn't matter if you have a Apple or Android. In this case, I have an Android phone. And you can see that, that I went to Google Play Store and I looked for Sofa Button and the app came up. So I just clicked on it and I installed it. Once it comes up, you need to go to it. And then you will be able to see that right now it is looking for connection. But in order for you to pair it, you need to hold the two buttons, which is in the bottom. One is a minus sign and one is E for a couple of seconds. Make sure that you are very near to your phone or tablet in this case. So I'm going to click on connect. You can see that it found it. It takes a couple of seconds for it to go through and get it connected. And there you go. Now it says add a device. So first thing that comes up here, you need to set up your system. So I will leave the remote right here and I will try to set this up. By default, it is always set up under United States. So I will click on it and I should get a keyboard and I will be able to type my country. And there you go. Now I have selected that part. Now, once that is done too, so you select it and you're going to say done. Now you're going to be able to connect your devices. So I have two devices. Number one is going to be a Android box that is called Buzz TV. This one right here is the one that I want to connect to. So that's number one. And the second thing is our TV. Now I have made another video for the prototype and I'm going to connect the same TV to this. It is called Psyche. So let's go through and connect the easy one first, which is going to be the TV. And then we will connect the Buzz TV XR4000. So I will click on add. Once you say add, it will give you a bunch of items here. So it's starting from Fire TV, then it says Ruko Apple TV. Of course you can control it and also TiVo. I know I have an Apple TV, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna have two devices for the meantime. And the second one is going to be a little bit harder. So here you go. The first thing you're going to do is make sure that you know that if you're going to be connected Bluetooth mode or you're going to be connected via IR mode. So I'm going to select the IR and it will tell you to select one of these. So I'm going to be able to select my TV and now it says to look for the name. So through this list, you will be able to find your TV name. So I'm going to click on it and to make it simple, I'm just going to type Psyche. There you go. So you can select it and now you have to position this in front of the TV in order for you to find it and make sure which code works. So right now on the TV, it says add device. So now it will tell you to point your U1 remote in front of the TV or the device. So that's what we're going to do now. And then we're going to press the power button. And I have a little red light right there. So that should turn to blue. And the second one worked. And since I am using just one camera at the meantime, I didn't set up two, I had to move the camera back and forth. And you can see now that it says if it worked or not. So we're going to say yes, that means it worked. And now the name is there and you can't change the name anything you wish. So that way you will be able to take full control of it and it, that name will show up right there. So at the meantime, I'm going to leave it as Psyche TV and I am on step number three, device number. It shows that it is a TV. You can change it to anything else that you want. But for the meantime, this is a TV that is Psyche. We will click on next. So that way this is set up for you. Now this part is going to get the proper all full IR codes 
downloaded from the internet to your remote. Because you are connected via Bluetooth, it is very simple to do it. And you can see right now that it says it is downloading. So it takes a couple of seconds for this to go through. So about 80% done right now, it is still loading, there you go. And once it is done, it says 100%. Now it will tell you that how you're going to be able to make all of the other buttons functional so you can use it. So the volume up and down works, the channel up and down works, the whole menu works, power works and also your source works and a TV button on a top. And if you look in the bottom, your mute button, which is right there, that works. All of your color button works and then the numeric numbers in the bottom. So this video will be able to play with your full TV. So if you have something set up on it, as an example, you want to switch a channel, a live channel that is going to be able to select, you will be able to take advantage of this remote on it perfectly. So once it's done, just press on done and you are set. And now you will be able to go through and play with it. If there is any software update that is going to be uh, coming out from Psyche TV, this app will be able to download it remotely and it's going to be able to install it so you do not have to go through it. So if you look right now a little bit closely on the remote itself, you will be able to see the name. And that's what we wanted to do was to make sure that we get the name on your remote. Now, this is the first part. The second one that I want to do is going to be connected to the Buzz TV box. All right, so now we came to the hard part, which will be the Buzz TV going to be able to connect to your sofa button U1 remote itself. So here you go how it's done. So we will go back into the app. You can see that I only set up Psyche and on the top of the remote itself, you can also see it that it will tell you this is Psyche and we're going to put this down since we are already connected we will go to add and I will tell you what you want to set up so in this case this is not going to be learning from another remote point to point or we're not going to be able to connect or should I say connect it to Bluetooth which in this case you can but there's no functionality so the best part is to go to IR and then it tells you which one you want to set up. So in this case, this is called an STB. So we will click on that. And this, we're going to look not for Buzz TV because you can see it, it's not there. We look for MyJika. A lot of codes on these boxes going to be used from MyJika. And again, I don't want you to guys to mix this up with another brands. Each brand have its own manufacturer. You can look for the manufacturer. So let's go through and use the same code as MyJika on this. So we will look for it and we just have to type a few letters and there you go. MyJika shows up. We will click on it. And now it tells you to grab your remote and then click on next on the screen itself. And now we will see which one will power up. You can see it right now that it is red icon right now on it so we will press the power and it does not turn blue yet so we will click on this and now it says try the second one and we will click on the power again and it did not turn on again so we will click no and we go into the second one so we will click power so you can see it that it is learning right now. So it's trying to find the same code. So I sent the second code and it's still not powering up. So we will say no. We will go to third one. We will click the power. And it doesn't select again. So we will click the power. And there you go. So the number three worked. So we will say yes. And now it says that you have to test the volume to make sure the volume works because there's different codes for the volume itself. So we will wait for this box to totally boot up so we can see it on the screen. And that way we know that they... Okay, so the first one does not work. So we will click next and we're going to say volume up or volume down. And it does not work. So we will say no, we will go into the second one. We're going to say volume up or volume down and I don't see it on the screen. So we will click and there you go. Once it's all done, you will be getting the name. And here is where you're going to be able to change the name. So click on the name itself, go at the end and then just delete everything and name it Buzz TV. So there you go. Once it's all set up, it goes through that little bar, which we missed because I was keep talking. And I was not looking on the screen. So you will be able to see everything. And then once this part comes up, it shows you that what you're going to be able to do with your remotes. You can see the power works, also the whole navigation, volume up and down, page up and down, all of the navigations, which is in the middle of it. Also, you have the mute button, the return key, 
the play and pause and also rewind and fast forward the stop sign just the recording doesn't work i know this box do have recording but we do not have to worry for the meantime and also all the numerics numbers so now what we will do is because the name itself was not there we had to rename it to buzz tv and now i will be able to connect uh, to sofa baton i will let them know that you can use my jika name and it will be able to work with the code number three to set everything up on this but again here you go it's working so now I'm, I'm really, really happy to play with the remote and I'm able to do all of the functions that I need to do with the remote itself. So I will be able to, you can see it on the top to select the bus TV. And now I am able to select all of the apps and navigations that I need. And that way I will be able to play with it. Now you can find this remote on Amazon. I would suggest for you to jump out there and grab it right now because the price is really good. And also, if you have any type of questions about this, drop them at the bottom of the video. Plus, this remote is also learnable when you are pointing it to another remote. Plus, it's also going to work with Bluetooth. So this way, if your Android box or your TV do work with Bluetooth, this will really help you out too make sure that each button is mapped out properly and also work if you need some help with that too ask at the bottom of the video we love to help you out we do know a lot about it but we want to learn more except that i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitext.info Except that, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places, and thank you.